great, so welcome back. And this is question 626, and it's called exchange seats. So for this question, we're given a table called seat with just two different columns. The primary key is the ID, and we're given a name field. And so the name kind of corresponds to a list of students. And all we want our output table to be is just we're taking these list of students, and for each consecutive pair, so in this case, um, student IDs one and two, the names Abbott and Doris, they're just gonna switch places. So, you know, Doris now has the ID of one, and then Abbott now has the ID of two. So you don't just wanna be, you know, swapping the names, but also, you know, the values with their corresponding ID here. And so this continues down the list. So then the next pair is Emerson and Green. They switch places. And then finally, because this has a table that with an odd length, we're just gonna keep the last person just where they are. We don't swap them because they don't really have a pair with them. Okay, so for this question, we're gonna give a, a MySQL answer for it. And we're going to use a, a case function, which is gonna handle all this logic for swapping their IDs and their order in the table. So we're gonna select, this is all coming from the seat table. Okay, and then so next we're going to have a case statement and this is gonna return the ID column. And the student column is just gonna come directly from that name field here. So, which returns name, but actually it's gonna return student. So although it shows in this question that the, the column name is actually name. It's really behind the scenes student. So they must have, you know, had an error when doing the documentation. So you might read name here, but it's actually the student field. So it's not name as student. It's really behind the scenes, just student. So they messed up there. Okay. So in our case statement, what we're going to do is we're just going to return the ID column and so that if the number is even, we're just going to return the ID minus one. So in this case for Doris or for the ID number two, we're just going to return one. And if the number is odd and we haven't reached the end of our list, we're just going to return ID plus one. So for the ID one, since it's odd, we're going to return two. So one plus one. And so finally, the last case will just be, okay, if we, if the number's odd and we reach the end of our table, we'll just return the final, or we're just going to return ID, the same value. We're not going to do anything with it. And so rather than having to worry about swapping the ordering of the names, we just manipulate the ID value and we just order by the ID. Great. So... Let's go ahead and do that. So when the ID, so we're going to take the mod of it, which to check if it's even or odd, if it's equal to zero, then we know that the value of this ID is an odd number. So we're just going to return ID minus one. Next, we want to check the exact same thing. but we're gonna check that it does not equal zero. And we're gonna verify that we haven't reached the end or that it has reached the end of our table. So, and the ID is equal to, and this is just a subquery where we select the total count or the total you know, number of rows in the table. So then we'll just return ID. And so this accounts for this case where, you know, the, the length of the table is odd and it's the final row in the table. So we just return the normal ID. You know, otherwise we'll return ID plus one. And so this counts for the cases of 
one and three here where we want to increment, you know, green, or I guess in this case, Emerson to an ID of four. And so it will be placed below green. Great, so let's give that a run. I think it looks good. And accepted. And success. So it also has a performance greater than 77%. Uh, so the case statement also gives you some performance enhancement because um, there's, you can kind of see in these other responses that I had, I was playing around with it where you know, if you have an if statement here where if you check it's odd or if you check it's even, and then within that if statement, you have another, um, I think it's a nested if statement you would call it, it would then have this check inside of it. And so that's actually much slower than just simply using a case statement where you just handle the three cases. So uh, good thing to try to use a case statement whenever possible rather than a, a nested if statement. So I, I hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thank you.